Hey, it's Wabbit. Good to be back with you. I do hope this finds you well. I'm recording this on the iPhone, as usual, but I'm also just talking into it, so the audio is not going to be the greatest. I'm being lazy, just being honest with you. Uh, this gear has not been sent by uh, anyone to me. Uh, as I say in all the videos, uh, my full-time job sponsors this, so there's no shilling going on. And I'm also not saying you need to buy any of this stuff. A lot of these things I've gotten over time, but I want to share a little bit of a story and, and kind of how I set this up. I'm calling this the Roland Crave Monster H6. Again, just having fun with the naming convention. And what's really exciting is that I almost sold something and I got out something uh, that has been sitting in a drawer for a long time. And it, it's, a, it's just a workhorse. Uh, so the two items are these devices here. And I know some may be like, wow, really? You almost did that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's for a whole nother conversation. Bottom line, I slept on it. Uh, also YouTube, which I think listens to me, sent me some videos like, hey, here's some things you need to be looking at. So um, these are now back in the mix after actually going into the drawer and for a brief time period being put online as being sold, but, but nobody bit. So again, maybe the universe is um, sending me a message. The workhorse is a Zoom H6. Um, again, there's another video that I will do that will be going over kind of this whole hutch layout and it'll make a little bit more sense. Um, but this thing sat in the drawer for a very long time. I mainly use this when I was podcasting. Um, I thought I would get into field recording, but I probably use my phone for most of that. And now with this whole little fun setup, um, it actually can record all this stuff. It does do multi-track, uh, if, if I want that option and that little XY mic, uh, thing on top actually has a 3.5 um, line input or audio input. So let's talk about uh, first the gear here. So the TRAS, uh, great drum machine, 707 groove box, Behringer Crave, and the Micro Monster 2 are really basically the sense, even though I can get sense out of the 707. I did a video last night just kind of doing a little test run with this thing. Uh, the Deluge is not part of this setup. Um, again, another video we'll talk about um, that but I can add it to that 3.5 uh, input that I talked about. So that's the gear. Let's talk about how it's all set up. And it really starts with this stand here. I've had this thing for a while. And there's these um, basically these four arms, uh, one arm here, one behind, and you can kind of see the other arm. So that's what's supporting those. And these are on these laptop stands. Um, these are no longer available. Uh, you can't buy them online. They're just discontinued, but you can get something similar. So that's what's supporting it. Now, what got interesting are these two pieces here. I was like, okay, how can I make this work? Now, the other thing that you may notice is I, I try and you know keep things on an angle. So if I'm sitting here, and I also want to make sure if I decide to stand, I can actually reach stuff. So we all have these little what I call multi-purpose tools. And it's this thing here that was sitting in a drawer for a very long time. And I was like, okay, how can I make this work? So I basically just C-clamped it to the arm back there. And then this is sitting on a ball rig mount so I can have the angle and it's solid. And then I was thinking, okay, the micro monster, I've got this little space right here because in the video that I did, it was sitting down here on a desk and I didn't quite like that. But as I'm looking at this, I'm like, oh, this is a perfect spot. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I got this little doohickey thing here. And I basically just attached it to the quarter inch screw there because this thing has four on that. And then I've got basically a cell phone mount holder that was just wide enough to hold this in. And it may not be quite as sturdy as this, but it works. I'm just going to be really twisting knobs and that's perfect. So got a little creative there. The headphones back here get on a little stand. And then that's how I have that plugged into the Zoom. Now, also on this little tool thing here, there is a portable power bank. So I just have that plugged in to the Zoom H6. I'm not a fan of using batteries. And if I just want to charge it behind this desk, underneath is a, I basically uh, mounted a power port or that I can actually charge that if I need to. So that works perfect. Here's a cool little hack that I did for the Micro Monster, if you didn't know this. So this does not have a power switch. And a lot of people don't like devices that, that don't have it. So basically, it's powered by USB. So when I plug this into power, it's going to always be on or I have to unplug it. Well, there's a device that you can buy. And you can't really see it because I have it Velcroed underneath here. But what I'm going to do is push this button and keep an eye on the Micro Monster. You hear the click. 
and we're powered on and we power off. So that's really cool. Um, I've actually have another one for a, a MIDI keyboard. I've had that thing for a while, but it worked per it works perfect. So it just stays plugged into this power port. And then when I want to turn it on, boom, all set up, good to go. Uh, let's talk about the MIDI connection. So uh, I basically can control everything with the Oxy. Uh, it's, I'm using the Oxy split back there. So coming out of, I'm just going to call it port C. Uh, I've got one coming into the TR-8S, uh, or so say MIDI in. And then out goes into the 707. And the 707 has two MIDI outs. One goes to the Crave, the other one goes to the Micro Monster. Uh, and then audio, um, the TR-8S and 707 both have mono out going into the Zoom H6. And then the Crave and the uh, Micro Monster, um, those are 3.5 audio into a quarter inch into the Zoom. And again, the Zoom, I can do multi-track recording, uh, just pop the SD card out, toss in the computer. Um, and then if I basically put the camera up here to, to get a top-down shot if I want, throw on some little lights and just jam away and have some fun. So that's all it is. Nothing super exciting, but it was just fun to set it up. It was fun to find a use for these two. It was fun to find a use for that beast of the Zoom H6, uh, that was never up for, for sale. Uh, it just sat in the, the closet. I mean, that thing, I mean, it's going on 10 years now, and uh, it works great. So basically, the use case for this whole setup is mainly the TR-8S is going to be drums. And then, you know, the 707, again, that's just multipurpose. I could use it on its own. I can bring in a synth, either one of the two. Um, or if I want to bring something else in, I can use that 3.5 millimeter with the right cable. Uh, there's just so many different options. And again, I'll get more into that in another video when I explain kind of what I'm doing here uh, down in the hutch or as some may call a layer. But uh, that's for another story. Thank you. for. If you have any questions about anything, feel free to ask. I'd be happy to try and answer those down below. But again, this is just my weird setup. Uh, don't do as I do. Do you. Find what makes you happy. And just have fun. I mean, that's really what it's about at the end of the day. And uh, I look forward to coming down here and jamming and having a ton of fun. I hope to catch you in another video. Stay safe. Get out there. Have a bunch of fun. And uh, until then, keep jamming.